You have your fourth generation Japanese guy from Seattle that moves down to Los Angeles and then makes his way out to Nashville where he meets this really cool couple that have a Korean bistro and finally they sell it to him. That's the story we hear all the time, right? No, you gotta check it out. This is Soy Bistro. All right, go to the patio. We have to go to Jane Chicken. Big fan of the place. Can't come here enough. Traditional with some chicken, baby. Delicious Asian soul food. Four more porks, three more hot chickens. It's awesome, and I love it because of Kenji, mostly. I was into to sales and like ship. Sorry, no. Because my mom was amazing with clients. I went to LA for ten years. That's where I got the food bug. So you came to Nashville knowing you wanted to be in the restaurant business. Hundred percent. Order up, table four. We're in Nashville, so what are we gonna make? We're gonna make hot chicken. With a little Korean influence. It's amazing. It's not like any other hot chicken in Nashville. Here, the gochujang makes it really flavorful and it's spicy. We want to brine our chicken. Water, salt, sugar. Sliced garlic, black peppercorn, lemon slices, bay leaves. Okay. Pour it all over the chicken and let it sit for two hours. Next step. So we're gonna make the chili oil. Okay. So we're gonna just take some good old vegetable oil. Okay. So slowly bring that garlic up with the oil so we're not frying it. Absolutely. Up. Korean chili flakes, onion powder, salt, cayenne. Because that Korean chili flake is not really spicy. So now this is gonna cook for how long? At least about an hour. What's the next step? Make the cream wasabi, which is gonna be a part of our house coleslaw. Got it. Cucumbers, green onions. Then we got sour cream. Wasabi paste that's been reconstituted with a little water. Blend that up. Okay, and what are we going into? We're going into a ranch. Dry ranch mixed with a little buttermilk and a little uh, sour cream? Uh, no, it's just no. store-bought ranch. Oh, just store-bought ranch out of the bottle? Just good store-bought ranch out of the bottle. Who likes to party? Right. We're gonna add some sugar, and then we're gonna add the last kicker, the mayonnaise. This is gonna go on top of that carrot slaw. So we got a nice hard sear on the brine chicken. Yes, sir. A little sriracha from our chili oil. Mount it with a little bit of butter. Chicken on top. Toasted sesame seeds, green onions. Finish that house coleslaw with that cream wasabi we made earlier. And that's all she wrote. <laughs> now that right there, delicious. All right, there's a little bit of heat, but not overwhelmingly hot, like you're burning your mouth and it's just all cayenne loaded. Tender chicken, perfect rice, nice little slaw to cool you down if it's too hot. It's a nice alternative because it's not fried. So you're getting the, the fix that you want without all the calories that you probably don't need. Delicious, very approachable. Of the hot chicken. It has a little bit of a spice to it, but it tastes great, especially with some of the dressings that come with it. Making the right thing, I love it. Kenji just makes everybody feel welcome and it's always fun. The story is awesome and you're a good dude and I imagine people love coming in here and seeing you. That's what it's all about. Thanks. Well so done, much. my friend. I appreciate it.